Welcome to RP Hub. In this video, I will explain you how to handle checkboxes in Robot Framework. So, let's begin with the website demo page. Here, you will find it out checkboxes demo detail, which we can use it for our automation perspective or for demo perspective. So, whenever we are handling uh, form which contains checkboxes, either we will find it out single checkbox or the multiple checkbox. So whenever we are working with these type of requirements, we have to handle through their IDs. So let me show you how we can do that. So here, let's create a new test case for checkbox. Inside this, I am using open browser keyboard that is Selenium open browser keywords and the URL. I am pasting here same URL and Chrome is my browser name. Now we have to maximize the window when it is open. Maximize browser window just press ctrl space bar you will find out the option now our window will be maximized by using this next use select checkbox again ctrl space bar you will find it out the option and let's go to the page and inspect this element by right clicking and select inspect here you will find it out id so this is this is the id which I am pasting it here and I am adding here some sleep time so that I am able to see result. Now post this I want to close my browser now it's done let's run it and see the result first if we launch the Chrome and go to the website and from there, select it, checkbox, and wait for three seconds. Now it's closed. Now we are talking about multiple check checkboxes whenever we are handling multiple checkboxes in automation framework. So that will require different aspects. How we can handle it, I will show you here. So for handling multiple checkboxes, let's create another test case. So let me create another test case like uh, multiple checkbox so if you can see here in the uh, website where you can see there are multiple checkboxes are there you can select any one of them and you can do it for the multiple additions of it so uh, in at the end if you want to uncheck some of the checkboxes that is also perfectly fine you can do it so let's understand how we can do this so first I will need to open the browser. So for opening the browser, I am using here open browser activity or we can see keyword. Checking open browser and then I have to write the URL here and then the browser name in which browser i am trying to open it now next i am using maximize browser window so this will maximize my browser so that i can perform operations so without wasting time i am directly jumping to this option these two options so let's see how we can do it so for selecting checkbox so we have to use select and press control uh, spacebar you will find it out select checkboxes here you can provide either x path or with id or the name of an checkbox so let's say first we'll select this one uh, so first inspect the element and from the inspecting element we'll find it out the name so name is black t name is black t here
and the value I am using here as a black tea. So this will select my black tea. Let's add some sleep time here. So after adding sleep time, we are able to see it. Now close the browser. Let's save it and run this test case. Now our browser is open. We we'll jump to the page and first this will maximize the browser window. can see maximized and then it will select black tea it's not working so why uh, base url checkbox exit oh we have provided two arguments uh, but here it will need only one argument so black tea is a main argument which will provide it here so directly add black tea here and remove this one and now this time it will work now this will maximize the window post maximizing it will go to the contain or uh, go to the checkbox and select that checkbox and close the browser you can see selected and waited for three seconds then it's closed so let's see how we can add for some other checkboxes so let's add one more row here and select checkbox now if i want to select sec second options like pool and ot or red t so I will just go to and enter the value so this time it will add red tea then it will take again three seconds of pause then let's select these options as well so here this is a single option let's just inspect the element and I am just selecting break so select checkbox here checkbox and red t no not red t it's break now here again i am adding sleep time sleep of three seconds And push that if I want to unselect any of the options uh, here, then I will write it here unselect checkbox and the name of the checkbox. Let's say I want to unselect red T here, so this will unselect and then again this will wait for three seconds, sleep for three seconds, and then close the browser. So let's run this. Start, save this code. Now, first it will open the browser, and after opening the browser, it will maximize the page. Post maximizing, it will jump to the checkbox, select two checkboxes, then wait for three seconds, then again select the other checkbox of break, then wait it for three seconds, then unchecked for once on unselect the one checkbox then closed so this is how it works when you are working with checkboxes in robot framework so this is a complete automation flow we can call it when we are working with robot framework so that's all about handling checkboxes in robot framework hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching